Could we levitate humans with the world's most powerful acoustic tractor beam? This is by Chelsea Goad Futurism on Solask. Beam me up. In a science uh, fiction feeling first, engineers at the University of Bristol in the UK use the world's most powerful acoustic tractor beam to demonstrate that it's possible to stab stably contain objects larger than the wavelength of sound. In other words, they were able to levitate objects notably larger than what's ever been possible before, a feat that theoretically opens up the potential of one day levitate, levitating humans. Acoustic tractor beams use sound, or more specifically sound waves, to hold particles in midair. While magnetic levitation also exists, acoustic levitation tends to work better for handling liquids and solids. It was previously believed that acoustic tractor beams were limited to levitating relatively small objects, only those approximately the same size as the wavelength of a sound. In fact, it was believed to be fundamentally impossible to levitate larger objects without losing stability, causing them to spin uncontrollably. The study, to be published uh, in the physical review letters describing the uh, new technique, which creates a tornado-like structure that's extremely loud but has a silent core, the researchers found that when they changed the direction of the rapidly fluctuating acoustic vortices that make up this structure, they could control the rate of rotation and stabilize the tractor beam. Once the beam was stabilized, the team could increase the size of the silent core at the center of this sound tornado, which allowed it to hold larger objects. Dr. Astier Marzo, the lead author of the paper from Bristol's Department of Mechanical Engineering, said that acoustic researchers had been frustrated by the size limit for years, so it's satisfying to find a way to overcome it. Levitating humans. In the demonstration detailed in the study, the engineers used ultrasonic waves at a pitch of 40 kilohertz to make up the acoustic vortices. The structure silent core was able to hold a two centimeter sphere made out of a synthetic polymer. The sphere is more than two times the size of the acoustic wavelengths, making it the largest object that's been stably held in a tractor beam thus far. While it might look and feel like a bit like magic, the team believes harnessing the technique could have many practical applications. Bruce Drinkwater, professor of ultrasonics from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, who supervised the work, said he's particularly excited by the idea of contactless production lines where delicate objects are assembled without touching them. Marzo concurred, I think it opens the door to many new applications, some of which might include creating medical devices like drug capsules or microsurgical implements, he said. For those who are wondering about the possibility of levitating something, or perhaps someone, a great deal larger than a two centimeter sphere, Dr. Mihai Kaleep, senior research associate who developed these simulations, added that in the future, with more acoustic power, it will be possible to hold even larger objects. This was only thought to be possible using lower pitches, making it exp the experiment audible and dangerous for humans. Of course, Dr. Caleb is not saying that the simulations are proof humans could be levitated with existing technology. What the study does show is that high pitches, far above what humans can hear, can successfully be used in acoustic tractor beams and objects larger than a sound wavelength can be stably levitated. Working with higher pitches, larger objects and more stability, the only way for the research to go from here is up. And this is on Solask by Chelsea Goad on Futurism. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.